How's it going, folks? Brian Blessing coming to you from Las Vegas, Sportsbook Radio, Vegas Hockey Highline, my radio shows. We're getting ready to go on the air, but we're also ready to dish out some line movements in the NFL for you here at bangthebook.com. Follow along on Twitter at bangthebook. Don't forget the sports betting podcast. Fantastic information. Week five in the NFL, we're starting to figure out who some of these teams are, who's regressing, who are the surprise teams. Let's dive in and see what these line movements are going to be in week five. We'll talk about the Chargers and the Giants. and uh, The Giants are three and a half point favorites. Total on the game is 44 and a half. Both of these teams just can't seem to get out of their own way. Uh, specifically, the Chargers always seem to play well enough to win and then something bad happens. Uh, Buffalo Cincinnati is an intriguing game. Cincinnati's minus three even money. I think there will be stages of the week where this number creeps down to two and a half. The Bills off a win at Atlanta. And that was a correlated parlay. It was Bills in the under or Atlanta in the over. And this Bills defense, uh, as of right now, is the real McCoy. And the total on the game is low at 39. So the respect is being given to the Bills defense. And I think it will translate into the side as well. And two and a half may pop up. Jets and Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland's a one-point favorite. Total's 39 and a half. Don't know what the ratings will be on this particular game, even in New York. Uh, Jacksonville and Pittsburgh. Steelers just kind of quietly going about their business. Eight and a half, nine. Uh, total on the game, 43 and a half, 44. Uh, Jacksonville at times gets that offense click, and you could see the total go up in that game a little bit. Uh, Mariota, question mark. We're looking at Tennessee. Uh, two and a half, three point favorite at Miami. The Dolphins have been this traveling road show. Uh, finally, they get to. Uh, come back home, but their offense is completely out of source. they got to get Jay Ajay going again. San Francisco's at Indy. Indy's a one-and-a-half, two-point favorite in the game. The total on the game uh, is 43-and-a-half. The uh, points could be a, at a premium in that game. Arizona travels cross-country, uh, and never easy for the West Coast teams to go east, specifically for what on their body clock is a breakfast football game. Eagles are six, six and a half. Uh, it conceivably, is a number. You know, it could even go up a touch more. Uh, the total in the game is forty-five and a half. Uh, Carolina and Detroit. Detroit's a two and a half point favorite. Forty-three and a half is the number here. How about this? Carolina off the win against New England, and I think that's why this number is below three. But give Detroit full marks. Going to Minnesota and winning, regardless of who the quarterback thing. Uh, not an easy feat. This may be a completely different Lions team. You could see some, uh, I, I don't know if there's some steam on the Lions possibly that scares three leading up to kickoff. We shall see. Uh, the total on the game is 43 and a half, 44. As Cam Newton started to get it going against the Patriots last week, their offense had been pedestrian. Seattle and the Rams. Rams are one and a half. Uh, the total on the game is 47. Seattle boat raced Indy. Uh, basically, it was all in the second half of that game. But this Rams team, you've got Gurley, and now you've got receivers and Watkins and Woods. And maybe the biggest story in the NFL so far is the play of Jared Goff. All of a sudden, he looks like he was worthy of the first-round pick. It helps to have some weapons at your disposal. Baltimore and Oakland, this is really intriguing. E.J. Manuel's the quarterback. No Derek Carr. Carr's got to be worth three and a half, four points at least on a drop-off, and it's down below a key number, and Baltimore's been a mess. Two and a half is the number. The total on the game is 40. Uh, the Raiders are a public team. I think threes could come back into play. Green Bay, Dallas, you got a marquee game here. This will be the high profile, high handle game in the NFL. Dallas, two, two and a half. A lot of respect for Rodgers. Totals up there, 52 and a half. Now, you might see a three in this spot uh, with the Cowboys back at home. And then Casey and Houston, this game's not for the faint of heart. These are two very physical teams. And the two quarterbacks here, Smith's been phenomenal, been threatened by Mahomes when they drafted him. He's been great. He's got the weapons with Hunt, Kelsey, Tyreek Hill. And Watson's been spectacular. Now he gets Wolf Fuller back in the lineup. I know these are uh, good defenses, uh, but the total's telling. It's pretty high at 46 and a half, 47. Uh, an intriguing matchup. And then Minnesota still always waiting on what's going to be the deal with Sam Bradford. They're three-point favorites at Chicago. But Trubisky is going to get the start in that one. Then we'll have to get a little learning curve to see how that Bears offense goes with the rookie quarterback at the helm. Always listen to the sports betting podcast, bangthebook.com. Follow along on Twitter at bangthebook. Always happy to be with you. Bangthebook.com. I'm Brian Blessing in Las Vegas.